Here's how to make a grabbing hand in GameLab on code.org that can pick up other items on the screen and move them around. From the dashboard, click Create and GameLab to start an empty project. The first thing to do is to draw your hand, and I'm not great at this, but here goes. Call that one hand and duplicate. And on this one, call it hand red. And we are just going to paint the outside of it red to indicate that the mouse has been pressed. All right, then go ahead and pick out two items that you want to grab, or as many as you want, really. Back in the code mode, we're going to make a sprite called hand and set it to a picture of our choice. And then we're going to make an item one with an image and an item 2 with an image. So this will be hand, hand, item 1, item 1, item 2, item 2. And then you want to grab your normal hand to start. Alright, then draw them on the screen. Use a scale block to resize your two items. Okay, everything looks like it's about the same size. They're also stacked up right on top of each other. So let's go to math and get some random number blocks for our two items. Uh, if you want, you could just leave one in the middle of the screen and we'll just randomize the other one. And we'll set that 0 to 200 on the X, 0 to 200 on the Y. So it looks like the apple is jumping around. We might as well randomize the other one. In this one I'm going to put 200 to 400, 200 to 400. That way they're not right on top of each other most of the time. You could do anything you wanted to there. Now notice I haven't given an X and Y to the hand, I've just left it alone because inside the draw loop I'm going to give the hand an X and a Y. And I'm going to set those equal to my mouse values of X and Y this. So now my hand follows my mouse. We need to cover up all the other extra hands. They kind of look like trees. So grab a background and stick it inside. All right. Uh, now for the clicking, we're going to say if the mouse is pressed over each item. So I'm going to say if mouse pressed over item one, then we want items one's X and Y to follow the mouse. All right, let's try that. Oh, look, I accidentally put X on both of them. This bottom one needs to be Y. All right. Okay, so I can now move it, but notice how the hand is underneath it. That has to do with the order they were created, so I need to take the hand, these two lines, and move them down here. Still above the draw loop but at the bottom of the spike, sprite creation. So now I can grab that one and move it. I also want whenever I click for the outline of the hand to change to the red one that I made. So what we're going to do for that is just a set animation inside here for hand, and it's going to go to hand red. All right, we need this whole if again, but for item two, so let's just copy the whole thing, paste it, and change all these item 1's to item 2. And now I should be able to pick up either one of them and move it around. Notice I'm staying red, so what I also need to do is take this animation here, the original hand being black, and put it in the draw loop. And that should do it.